commuters in Regions 3 and 4 will exhale a well-earned sigh of relief as they say goodbye to their traffic woes. This pivotal infrastructure component enhances connectivity and opens up hundreds of opportunities. It serves as a cornerstone in addressing the intricate challenges posed by rapid urbanization. Currently, we are standing on a temporary structure that will aid in the construction of the new Demerara River crossing. Once the new crossing is completed, the temporary structure will be disassembled. The structure will connect at Nandi Park on the east bank of Demerara and Lagrange on the west bank. The reinforced concrete bridge will span a length of 2.65 kilometers and width of 23.6 meters. The bridge is purpose-built to accommodate handy max vessels, allowing them to pass underneath at a height of 50 meters, while ensuring a minimum horizontal width of 210 meters for navigation. It will be replacing the existing Demerara Harbor Bridge, which has outlived its 40-year lifespan. The non-retractable four-lane river crossing will significantly alleviate traffic congestion, affording commuters in regions 3 and 4 much more time off the gridlock. But it's more than just that. The new bridge will be instrumental in supporting the oil and gas sector in Guyana as companies establish facilities on the west bank and west coast of Demerara, including the Gas to Energy Project and the Vreden Hoop Deepwater Port. We are here in Peters Hall, where 25 meters above the public road, the bridge will be suspended, leading to the Heroes Highway, which will revolutionize connectivity. The bridge is being built by the world's largest construction company, JV China Railway Construction Corporation International. The Kasik Crown of Honor will be reflected in the design of the bridge, forming part of the visual centerpiece. The US $260 million four-lane high-span cable stay bridge structure with a 100-year lifespan will be the first of its kind in South America.